yo 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 what's going on y'all i got a message um from holy spirit something that he called me to pay attention to today um two things that he has brought to my attention today and the reading is going to come from genesis chapter 2 verses 1 through 3 and so what the lord brought to my attention today was jets there were a bunch of jets in the sky at one time and um my daughter was like they going so fast and i was like yeah they different from airplanes and holy spirit was like you know pay attention to that so i was like okay i got it so when he told me to pay attention to it i realized that there were seven jets in the sky at the same time and they were all going in different directions okay so a jet this is what he gave me besides the fact that you knowing it's an aircraft a jet a rapid stream of liquid or gas forced out of a small opening now this reminded me of a pregnancy something you know how a baby is coming out of a small opening and is forced out by you pushing okay so when he said a rapid stream of liquid or gas forced out by a small opening, it reminded me of a pregnancy and a baby coming out of a small opening by being forced out by a woman having to push. So I looked up liquid and I looked up gas because this is what the woman is pushing out. Okay. So a woman is, <laughs> you stay with me. Okay. So a liquid unlike a solid is a li unlike a solid a liquid has no fixed shape but instead has a characteristic readiness to flow and therefore takes on the shape of any container so you know how when a woman is having her baby her area just takes the shape of the form of the baby that's coming out it just expands into however wide it needs to expand to in order for the baby just to have the readiness to flow out okay so that's what and um that's what i got from liquid and another thing i got from liquid was particles are free to move over each other but still uh, but still be attracted to one another so to move over means to change your position in order to make room for somebody so other words for that is for it to move over is to accommodate, comply, harmonize, and reconcile. Okay? So particles are free to move over each other but still be attracted to one another. So there is someone who is changing their position in order to make room for someone. And that means to accommodate you, to comply with you, to harmonize with you, to reconcile with you. Okay. Now the other word was gas. Gas is a substance or matter in a state in which it will expand freely to fill the whole container, just like a liquid the gas is basically the baby and again how the woman wombs expands freely okay and the gas is filling up the whole container so there is something coming where it is it's time to to push it's time to have this rapid stream of liquid or gas forced out of this small opening. It's time to push. It is time to give birth, okay, to this thing, whatever the Lord has called you to give birth to. And there is someone who is moving over, changing their position in order to make room for you, to accommodate you, to comply with you, to harmonize and reconcile with you. Gas also means that holy spirit led me to is to talk especially idly or boastfully 
So there is someone who wants to talk to you, but Holy Spirit wants to remind this person and they want to talk and they want to, they want to talk excessively to you. They want to like, they really want to talk and they want to talk a lot, but Holy Spirit wants to remind this person not to be idle or boastfully. To be idle means to not talk for no reason, not having a purpose for what they're saying or a foundation. And he is also calling for someone to pay attention. And he is also saying to this person who wants to talk, do not talk without effort. Put effort into what it is that you are saying. Make sure that you're talking with purpose. Make sure that you're talking with reason. Make sure you're talking in order to build a foundation. Because in idle talk means there's no purpose, there's no reason, there's no foundation. You're talking without effort and you're not even paying attention to what it is that you're saying. Holy Spirit said, make sure that this is not happening. Make sure you have purpose, reason, and foundation and you're putting effort into what it is that you're, that you're saying and pay attention to what it is that you're saying. And also not to speak boastfully, praising yourself and your, and your accomplishments and what you have done. Okay, and jet also means to move quickly. So this is something that's going to happen fast. This is something that's going to happen fast, rapid, fast, to move quickly. Okay, um, he also told me this is a nickname for a certain female. This is a nickname for certain feminine given names. Okay, so that made me think of a old homegirl I had back in the day. And her name was Jessica, and we used to call her Jet. Okay? And this means God beholds, wealthy, rich, to behold. Now, to be to behold means to be, be sure to see. That's the biblical meaning. Be sure to see. To gaze upon. See or observe a thing or a person, especially a remarkable or impressive one. So someone may be gazing up on you. Someone may be looking you. Someone looking at you. Someone may be watching you because they find you remarkable or impressive. A synonym for behold is catch, consider, contemplate, decree, discern. So someone has been thinking. Someone has been thinking a lot about you and considering you. And maybe on how to catch you. Okay, but this thing has been decreed. Okay, the declared and decreed. And they have received discernment about you. Okay, so the next thing that the Holy Spirit gave me after he gave me Jet was... Oh, and Jet is also a, an, a verb. It's an action word. So this is something that's going to take place. Something that's going to happen. This is an action. So the next thing he told me to pay attention to was the number of jets that were in the sky. And there were seven. And seven means fullness, completion, perfection. After all, after all the work, oh, and uh, after all the hard work that the um, was done, God saw that everything he did was perfect. It also means divine fulfillment. So something is done. Something is done. It's complete. And the Lord sees this, sees this as a perfect thing, as divine fulfillment. So I'm going to read Genesis chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all of his work, which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in which he had had rested from all his work, which God created and had made. So the Lord saying everything that he has done, everything that he has created Everything that he has done, everything that he has created is perfect. And now he is about to rest. The Lord has put in a lot of work to do and have 
for whatever is about to happen, the Lord has put in a lot, lot of work. And now he's saying he can rest. <laughs> everything is perfect now. And everything is complete and is in divine fulfillment. And is at its fullness. The number seven also it represents the sevenfold spirit of God. Um, the perfect spirit of God being the Holy Spirit. The secret of the number seven is that the number seven is a prime number, meaning that it can be divided by itself and one. No other numbers can equal the number seven, okay? When dividing, meaning by two things, only by itself and one, okay? So that's you and whoever else that, that the Lord has um, ordained for you to be with. Now, the Lord brought to my attention a video that I had uh, posted a while back that he had me talking about prime numbers. Now, I thought he was going to lead me to another video, but he led me to um, a video that I made on June the 11th, which is 611. And Holy Spirit showed me that this is for people who are in separation from their spouses and this is an answer to your question because 611 means to answer and it means separation. So this message, I'm going to post this video in the description box and in the comments and um, section. This is for people who are in separation from their spouse and who may receive an answer from watching this video. Okay, so that's it and that's all y'all. Peace. Go check out the video so you can get that message and get your answer, okay? Peace.